Hi friends, today we are going to see an application of DSP and today's application is transmultiplexers. So we are going to see today what do you mean by transmultiplexer. Now transmultiplexers stands for an acronym of TDM to FDM converter. Wait a minute, it is not only TDM to FDM converter, it is also an FDM to TDM converter. So transmultiplexers are nothing but TDM to FDM converters and FDM to TDM converters. Now how these things can happen? FDM is an analog multiplexing, TDM is a digital multiplexing. So we are transmitting, we are converting a digital multiplexing to analog multiplexing and analog multiplexing to digital multiplexing. Let us see the first case which is FDM to TDM converter. So an FDM to TDM converter looks like this. So we will have an input over here as an FDM signal. Now FDM signal will have various signals which are at different carriers. Then the first step I need to perform is convert this analog signal to digital signal. So I will be using a A to D converter. Once the signal is converted, we pass them to various SSB demodulators. Now why we have used SSB demodulators are SSB stands for single sidebed demodulators. Why we are using SSB? Because this application I have designed for telephony signals. Now telephony signals basically are of 4 kilohertz okay, and uses SSB modulation technique. We normally take 4 kilohertz one voice signal, combine such 12 signals together and make a basic group. Okay, So we have 12 signals in one voice group. So that let's say that 12 signals are coming together okay, and I am passing and I am demodulating them individually. All 12 will be at different carrier frequencies. So all SSBs will be at different carrier frequency and I will demodulate them and pass through a decimator. Now decimator is here is selected D to be equal to 12. Now this decimated outputs are given, are being selected by a TDM multiplexer. Now what is a TDM multiplexer? TDM multiplexer is nothing but just a switch, okay, a commutator switch, which will be there on the first channel for first some time, then it goes to the second channel and so on and so forth. So it will select one of the uh, inputs uh, using a switch. So we have converted an FDM signal to a TDM or a time division multiplex signal. Here, the reason for selecting 12, the value of D because individual channel which is 4 kilohertz is being uh, sampled at a Nyquist rate and which gives me an overall value of 8 kilohertz. And that 8 kilohertz signal is being combined together to form a basic group. Okay, and 12 are there in one basic group. So 8 into 12 gives me 96 kilohertz. So down sampling will actually help me by a factor of 12 to come to 8 kilohertz back. Okay, so that's why we select the D to be equal to 12 and I'm getting an 8 kilohertz signal at each point. 8 kilohertz signal at each point is passed time periodically or into it is split into times. Each channel now is split into time and is passed. So this is how we convert a FDM signal to TDM signal. Now how we perform this modulation, SSB modulation is been shown over here by just showing an SSB, a low pass and a decimator. So here the signal comes as an input. We have two carriers, one is cos omega n and one is minus. These are uh, mutually orthogonal to each other. So we are using an orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. And then they are passed through a low pass filter and then de uh, decimated by a factor of 12. The decimation will also have a filter into it, which is an anti-aliasing filter. And the filter and the decimations are normally, decimators are normally implemented using polyphase structures. 
Now let us see the second case wherein I have a TDM signal and I wanted to perform a FDM uh, transmission. So for a TDM to FDM transmission, this is a block diagram. Here I am going to achieve a TDM signal at the input. That TDM signal using a commutator is split over various channels. Now here I am using an interpolator. What interpolator will do? Interpolator will increase the sampling rate by a factor of, here also let us take an example of 12 because we are considering telephone channels. Then I will perform an SSB modulation at different carrier frequency. So modulator 1, modulator 2 and modulator N will have different carrier frequencies and then that modulated signals are combined together passed through a D to A converter because we are now transmission over an analog signal and passed through a FDM uh, channel. So this is how we translate a TDM signal to an FDM signal. I hope you have understood what do you mean by transmultiplexes. Thank you.